Hello and welcome back to London Live News. An awards ceremony that recognises Britain's emerging artistic talent is taking place in the capital tonight. The Griffin Art Prize sees those shortlisted take part in a six-week exhibition at the Griffin Gallery and those who take home the award win a three-month studio residency. Well, Olivia Kemp and Palace Citroen are two of the artists who have been shortlisted, pleased to say. They join me now. Thank you very much indeed for coming in this lunchtime. Congratulations to both of you, first of all, for being Thank shortlisted. You. Thank you. Yeah, you must be pleased to have got this far. Uh, yes, very pleased. So tell us about the work, in a broad sense, uh, that you've submitted. Uh, well, I do sculpture and installation and performance. However, in this instance, I think I've got four paintings in, pretty big, very brightly coloured, but I also uh, put some elements with the painting because I do installations. So uh, I've got a double-ended deer, which is life-size with two ends, not any heads, and I have a wild pig where I brought the skull back from Turkey and remade the animal, sort of, I don't know how to explain, it's hard, you have to have a look at a picture. You, you've done a very good job there. <laughs> Olivia, what, what have you submitted? Um, I'll be showing drawings, um, just from um, trips around so sort of Norway and Scotland and Pignano in Italy, um, mainly imaginary and some based on real places. Sure. Now, uh, you've got both quite interesting stories. Olivia, you have exhibited at the Saatchi Gallery and the National Gallery. Uh, you've held uh, residencies in, in various locations around Europe, but how did you actually get into drawing? Um, well, I did my degree in painting, and then by the end of the degree, I realised I was kind of more in love with the idea of painting than the process itself. So I went on and did a master's in drawing and a further postgrad at the Royal Drawing School. Um, and by then, I was pretty much cemented. So was, I'm happy to stop with drawing. Drawing is enough for my practice. And Palace, you've got an equally eclectic career. You dropped out of St Martin's, but that wasn't a problem because you end up becoming a model. And then after that, well, you are where you are today. Just tell us about that. Well, I did go back to St Martin's, did my BA and my MA there. So I graduated in 2012. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I dropped out because I didn't get any fees, so I just went off and did something else until I came back to it later on in life. It's still quite a nice option to have. Yeah. And, and tell us about the award tonight. Um, I don't know, because <laughs> I haven't been there, but uh, I think there are six artists in yeah. the final. It's a beautiful gallery, the Griffin Gallery, so it's a nice event to go to anyway. And the show's on for about two months, I think. Um, I just wanted to mention that I'm the founder of the Bomb Factory Art Foundation. So I wondered if we, we've got time to talk about that. Uh, we are almost out of time, but that is in... If people are, are interested, that's in Archway, isn't it? It's in Archway. It's an it's a art organisation with artist studios and with loads of events uh, open to the public. So please come along and have a look at them. www.bombfactory.org.uk The obligatory plug. Palace and Olivia, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.